Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really pleased to say that the new micro frame that I've been working on and sharing the development with you is finally finished. Uh, I got my pre-production batch through this week. It's turned out really good. Uh, all the little changes that I made are going to work perfectly. Uh, it's just a couple of little minor things I'm going to change for the final production batch um, but it's nothing that's going to affect the performance or uh, the parts are all going to work with each other it's nothing nothing that important but just a slight change I'm going to make so as you can see here this is the first one that I've I've rebuilt my old one into the onto the new frame this is a new canopy that I've come up with uh, so you're going to get two options uh, four options technically for the canopy so it's going to be a uh, fixed 45 degree camera angle for your nano camera that's uh, what I'm going to be calling the um, the race canopy and then there is there is a more open one like this like my traditional ones that where you can adjust the camera angle I'm calling that the freestyle the freestyle pod so there's a race pod and a freestyle pod and there's two variations of that there's this one here that just has the cutouts and this one which is the same as this one which has these slots for antenna tubes so you get two antenna tubes i run crossfire so don't you i don't need i don't use the don't use antenna tubes usually could maybe use them for the for the dipole but i prefer the emol t it also comes with this flip stick for turtle mode in so when you flip upside down the props aren't just buried in the grass and this little stick helps you flick over that seems to be working really well much better than uh, TPU sticking up that just folds over uh, this little stick thing it's pretty durable as well I haven't managed to break one uh, I tried this is something I tried on 5 inch but they used to just break all the time um, so but on a little thing like this it doesn't it's not not as likely to break, uh, so that's that's for an analog setup. Uh, you get you get your M2 bolts and you get four plastic nylon nuts to do them up. Uh, you get 16 mil and 20 mil bolts. So that's the analog setup, and then the one that I've been featuring a lot more on my channel is this DJI option, and both of them are going to come with these TPU bases that raise the flight controller up enough to put your receiver and VTX if you're running analog uh, or just your receiver if you're running a DJI, uh, running a Vista um, then you get the Vista Canopy uh, latest edition, this one's just been working fine, haven't managed to break it so this is the, this is the kit you're going to receive actually this is missing from it, the flip stick yeah let's Let's crack this open. So we'll start with the arms, boomerang arms, uh, at a 90 degree angle so that the carbon's going the correct direction on each of the arms. Four hole arms because it's just, it is stronger and I prefer it to be symmetrical so that you can build the frame with the arms like that or you could have them sideways depending on which way you want to run the battery strap so the bottom plate is actually just these two little braces and the middle plate there obviously uh, <clears throat> these holes won't be in the final production that was a mistake I made and I didn't have enough time to get them to change it before they made this batch so I just had to leave them in for that. Uh, another thing is these press nuts will be pre-fitted. uses four M3 press nuts and it uses these four 8mm M3 countersunk bolts and you have your choice of length that's all for your stack and your canopy uh, I'm going blue on that and you get your base um, the uh, flip stick just goes into this little slot here 
like so. Just start with these, which are countersunk. Shove a bolt through there, and a bolt through there. And just get that started. Can line all this up after, like so. So this will probably this will be easier on the final production batch because those press nuts will be pre-fitted, so you won't have to. It won't be as fiddly um, for you as it is for me. And anyone who buys one of these pre-production batch. And yeah, well, that's it. By splitting this uh, micro frame, instead of just using a whole one plate design, has lots of benefits. Um, obviously, you have you have to cut the mono plate uh, carbon frames like this, so that the carbon is going the correct way along the arms. Um, same with uh, these dual arms; they have to be cut like that. Uh, but you can line them up a lot bit a lot better, so it makes makes it a little bit cheaper to have cut. But obviously, there's more parts to it, so it actually works out about the same. I've had these bottom braces cut the opposite direction, so it has the maximum strength going this way. And this plate here, I did actually, I could choose. I tried it. I tried both ways, and I actually preferred having the extra strength going across the middle this way. Um, so. With the press nuts there, uh, they mean that there's you have to raise the stack at least two millimeters. So I created this little TPU piece, just pops over the press nuts like that, and then you put your M2 bolts up through there, like so. Yeah, I've put the 16s in, but I'm probably going to need the 20s, like so. Um, this is, the Beta FPV boards just seem to uh, last, I've, they're, they're so much better than all these cheap £30 boards I've been getting from Banggood. Um, I've still got the first one that I ever bought from the first two, from the first guitar pick that I ever built from New Components. Um, and it's still running fine. It's actually yeah. That that's what's that's what's in this one. That's why those plugs are on there from when I was using the Beta FPV uh, motors with the plugs. Um, so yeah, really love this little flight controller. The V3 having that black box is amazing. Uh, so this is where you choose if you want them want the gap through front to back or side to side. Uh, I'm going to do this one side to side. Obviously you'll be putting your gummies on that and the gummy then just that's going to sit on there with the gummies. Underneath you're going to be running a little VTX. That's going to sit around there. Put the wires up to the flight controller and you bend this round and yeah, I didn't actually say before, but th what you do is you feed your dipole up like so, and there's that little gap there so that it's not pushing into the flight controller, and you're just going to loop that down underneath the stack. It's obviously a lot easier when you have all the 
for like controller and everything and wired in. But that's gonna just neatly pop underneath the stack like I've done on this one. See how I've got it coming out from underneath, then it goes up and through the hole and it, it's not even touching the flight controller so no extra vibes or anything caused, caused by it. Really clean, you just have your little antenna sticking out the back there. And then there's just about enough room underneath there to squeeze your receiver, in my case TBS Crossfire Nano. So my favourite camera at the moment for analog, you know, when I have to run it, uh, is Nano Racer 2. And you just pop that up in there like so. Yeah, the motors I'm going to be running are the Zing 1404, 4600 kV. I build all these little ones completely off the frame. So I just use the frame like, like this, I put the motor on it, see how long I need the wires to be, and then I cut all the motors to the same length, and um, then I just take the flight controller and solder, the, solder all the motor wires to the bottom, like so. I do it like this, pointing inwards, and then bend the motor around like that. It's usually pretty clean. Um, obviously you can do it any way you want. So yeah, I solder the four motors on first and um, prep my VTX wires to the right length that depending on, you know, you need it at the front ready for the dipole to loop round. So I'm going to be using uh, unfortunately my video wires have got to go over there so these aren't long enough. I will have to remove these and make some slightly longer ones because unfortunately that's the one thing I hate about this board. There's no pads on the bottom so everything has to come up the side which is a bit shit really but there's not a lot you can do. So yeah, I'm going to make the wires a little bit longer so this can go underneath there um, and they'll just go across the bottom and up there. I'll do the same with my TBS Crossfire and basically just put one there, one there underneath and have the wires going whoosh, whoosh, underneath and up to where they need to go. Once I've got all that in place and uh, then I feed the antenna through into there. You've obviously already soldered the wire on there so you just plug it in and then basically with all the wires, all the motors hanging, just drop it on top, bolt it all down and uh, go and maiden it. As they say on Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, a quick overview of the frame and uh, a quick and dirty build guide. So, uh, sorry, yeah, I uh, alluded to it earlier. The, I've ordered this pre-production uh, batch. Uh, it does have a couple of little th niggly things I need to change, the, the press nuts, the press nuts not being able to, f to fit those myself and having to use uh, just you know, clamping down rather than them actually popping into the frame uh, and those little holes there, they're really the only two things that I'm going to change. Um, so uh, in the either before this video goes up or um, within the next few days, whatever, uh, I will add the new frame to the website and um, you can order it at a bit of a discount because um, it's a pre-production batch and I'll be ordering the full production batch in the next week so probably looking at about four weeks for the actual final production batch to be launched because uh, it takes a little while for Amatan to cut them um, but yeah if you can't wait that long then you can buy the pre-production frame. Um, I'll, I won't sell, I'll hang on to a few spares, enough to keep everybody in the air for the next month until the final one comes out and then we'll be uh, good to go.